begin with breaking news and what appears to be a significant escalation in the U.S. conflict with Iran. A top Iranian general killed during an airstrike in Iraq on orders from President Trump. The Pentagon confirming just one hour ago the United States killed General Qusem Soleimani. The strike came after the defense secretary warned that the United States would not accept continued attacks on American forces in the Middle East. Let's get right to Washington and CBS 4's Natalie Brand. She's live with the breaking details. Natalie. Rudabay Elliott, a senior U.S. government official, confirms to CBS News that this strike was in response to an active threat to U.S. interests in the region. The U.S. Defense Department says the military, at the direction of the president, conducted, quote, a defensive action at the Baghdad International Airport in Iraq, killing a key Iranian general, Qosem Soleimani. In a statement, the Defense Department said Soleimani, who led the elite Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, was actively developing plans to attack American diplomats and service members in Iraq and throughout the region. The statement went on to say this strike was aimed at deterring future Iranian attack plans. The United States will continue to take all necessary action to protect our people and our interests wherever they are around the world. The U.S. says General Soleimani approved the siege this week on the U.S. Embassy by Iranian-backed militia supporters in Baghdad. On Thursday, the U.S. increased its presence in the region. U.S. troops with the 82nd Airborne Division arrived in Kuwait. An additional 3,000 are on alert and preparing to deploy to the region. It's not a, not a show of force. It's a, it's a reinforcing capability that we can uh, employ not just in Iraq, but throughout the region. Speaking to reporters off camera, Defense Secretary Mark Esper said earlier Thursday that there are indications militias loyal to Iran are planning further attacks. Do I think they may do something? Yes, and they will likely regret it. Iranian-backed demonstrators stormed the U.S. Embassy's perimeter on Tuesday, setting fires, throwing rocks, and destroying a reception building at the sprawling compound. After the operation, the president sent one tweet, an American flag. And Senator Marco Rubio weighing in on Twitter says in part the defensive actions the U.S. has taken against Iran and its proxies are consistent with clear warnings they have received. They chose to ignore these warnings. They badly miscalculated. Other lawmakers weighing in tonight worry about escalations without congressional approval. Obviously, this is a very fluid and developing situation with much more reaction to come in the coming hours and days. Rudabay. Natalie Brand, thank you very much for that live report. For overnight developments on this breaking news, a top Iranian general killed by U.S. forces in Iraq. Wake up with CBS 4 this morning, beginning at 4.30 a.m.